hello, hello. Hey everybody and welcome to this video. Today we're going to try and explain some of Discord uh, for you. A couple of people have been asking during the live stream, so I hope this will bring some sort of clarity and clarify the clarification to make things clear. So when you click on the link uh, for our Discord, these tend to be in the description of any video I do and also in the live chat. Click on accept invite. It'll ask you to put in a username, uh, which is your email and also a password. That is to verify you are indeed a human and not uh, a robot, for example. Now I'm going to highly recommend that you download the Discord app, the desktop application. I just prefer it rather than just using an open web page. So everything I'm going to show you is going to be from the app, but it's the, pretty much the exact same thing you'll get on a web page. But I would recommend you get the app. You can also have this on your phone and also on a tablet. Uh, so you can, you can keep it with you. Uh, so Discord is basically where we hang about when we're not on a live stream. And you'll see now in a moment, we keep a lot of information here. And there's a lot of kind of social interaction. We have the, the chat and the crack. So once you click on invite, put in your details, and then we'll go to the app to show you what to do next. So once you arrive, you're going to go to start here. This is the server rules for the two-tone Murphy Discord. Um, basically, have a read down through them. If you agree, click on the shamrock. If you don't agree, that's okay. Best of luck and thanks for the visit. To give you some navigation of what's going on on this screen, over on the left-hand side is going to give you a list of all the servers. So this Discord, which is Two-Tone Murphy, it's going to be called This Is The Server. And then, you know, you can go onto the Colonel Fork server or Ozflight Simmer or whoever else you want to follow or be a part of on their Discord community. So on the left-hand side, that's where all your servers are. You can even make your own one here as well. The next one over is going to show you the channels inside that server. So you can see it's quite limited at the moment. You can't see anything else. That's because you got to agree to the guidelines. And once you do, well, then we'll show you everything else. The main page here is the overview or the, uh, the preview, if you like, of said channel. Over on the right hand side, you have a list of all the community members of the server that you're in. Up here, you can mute the channel um, or you can mute an entire server if you wish. Uh, an example would be if, uh, you know, if, if, if you're only playing for the likes of um, X-Plane and you don't want to stay current with Microsoft Flight Sim, well, you can mute the Microsoft Flight Sim channel within our server and just be alerted when there's notifications in X-Plane. Uh, pinned messages, we'll go through them shortly. Basically, if there's stuff that we kind of constantly look for, be it an add-on or, you know, scenery, I'll pin it. It's just easier to find some stuff. And then you can click on the member list. So that's pretty much what you're looking at here. Now, before we go any further, I want you to set up your audio. This is important. So if you click on user settings, the little gear down here, click on voice and video, and up here, you'll have your input device and your output device. Uh, basically, your speakers and your microphone, uh, or your microphone and your speakers. Push to talk, always select that. The reason being is if you have a hot or live mic, we'll hear everything, especially when someone comes in going, are you still on the machine? I told you to get off. So we click on push to talk. Basically, you have to push a button and press it and keep it held if you want to talk. It's always a better way to do it. There's a number of different bits and bobs in here. You can read down through them, but this is the main one I want you to focus on. We'll set up our audio. So as soon as you have that done, if you agree, click on the shamrock and let's continue. So we've clicked on the shamrock and now a whole load of stuff has opened up here uh, within the server. These are all the channels. So we'll try and make this straightforward and not overwhelm you. To start, if you have open menus all the way down like this, click on the little arrow beside it, it'll close them. And it just makes navigation a little bit easier. So close all of these uh, and we go down through them one by one. So in the community board, this is basically information in relation to the community. So if you click on index, it gives you a full rundown of everything that's here in our server. Next up, you'll have arrivals, multiplayer rules, announcements, and so on and so on. Now what is super handy, because we have all these channels closed off and uh, if there is a notification in there it'll appear in the said channel so for example on gift shop if we ramble down there's two channels in here one of them is merch one of them is giveaways there is a notification in there so that'll stay active until you click on it really really handy to have so moving on we're going to have a look at the multiplayer rooms this is where we set up our audio stuff so if you click down on multiplayer this is where you have voice channels or standard text channels if you go into a voice channel, if you click on it, you'll join it, provided you have the right 
uh, permissions, as it were. So this is for members, or this is for the open. So if we go into open, we have access to both. Well, it's me. I have access to everything. Um, it's it's perk of the job. <laughs> but uh, if you if you try to click on something and it won't let you in, it's it's probably just to do with a permission. Uh, and if you're unsure about anything, you can drop me a message. So basically, once we've joined this MSFS open, you'll see that the voice has connected. You're still free to browse other channels within. Uh, but be aware that you're now in a voice channel as well. Now, because we've set up the push to talk, well, no one can hear us. <laughs> We're here, the lights are on, but there's no one home. If you do want to talk, you have to press your push to talk. When you do that, you'll notice that a green circle has appeared outside of your avatar. Um, as I'm pressing and holding the push to talk, that means I'm transmitting. If I let it go or release it, uh, I'm receiving. So you'll keep an eye on that. You'll see other members who are talking or, you know, they're transmitting just to be aware of that. Now you can also live stream, turn on a webcam or share your screen from within this as well. Uh, feel free to use it, just be aware, follow the community guidelines, uh, be mindful of the younger ears and younger eyes. Um, but it is super fun to be streaming away in there. Usually when I ramble in, there's always a group of people either live streaming X-Plane or Microsoft Flight Sim or even other games uh, and it's always cool to ramble in here as well. If you want to leave this chat, all you need to do is click on the disconnect button which is down here. And I might say, well, how did that go? It, it's That's just Discord asking you stuff. Now, for example, if you want to talk, how does one communicate within this area? Well, you have your message box down the bottom here and depends where you want to be talking. So, for example, you have the normal hello and whatever. Uh, we also have an at function. So if you want to talk to someone in particular, so we can say at, it'll either go by, you know, the users or by the roles. So if you want to say, for example, if we wanted to, let Colonel Fork know about something. We just say at Colonel Fork, click on at Colonel Fork, and whatever we say, Colonel Fork 85 will get a direct notification to say his name has been mentioned. Uh, we can also add in emojis just by clicking on the this button here, uh, or you can click over here on the emoji. So you can add in frequently used ones, what ones are available in our channel, and any other channel that you are a part of. You can add in all them emojis, which is really cool. GIFs are, well, they you know what a gif is and um, so this is basically how you have the chat one point to note if you're going to be having a full-blown conversation like an instant messaging the channels aren't really ideal for that like certainly in the bremen bar you can go in and have the chat with someone that's pretty much it's a bar it's a social area the virtual pub as it were um, but if you want to have a direct message with someone as in only talk to them and it's, it's like a private message if you go over to the username for example, let's have a look at Colonel Fork again. If you click on the username, you'll get some information, the roles assigned, but you can also have a direct message with Colonel Fork. Another way to do it is if you go over to your home screen, it'll give you an idea of all the names or all the direct messages that you have with people and it keeps everything in there for you. So the direct messaging is better if you're going to have more kind of single line conversations with people the reason why you wouldn't necessarily put it into any of these like it's okay to have a bit of a chat don't get me wrong but if you're going to have constant updates as in one-liners as in hi and then the next lane or the next line you know how are you and what's the weather doing and so on and so forth all that's going to happen is all the members who are listening to this channel will have a gazillion or bajillion notifications when they come back into it so try to keep these on topic as best we can and um, that's pretty much how it works so don't be afraid to use the direct message if you want to have the more kind of one-to-one -one conversations with people and um, if you make a mistake or you know you've typed in something that you, you shouldn't have for example uh, if i typed in this and now uh, uh, that didn't make any sense so you have these options up here you can add reactions you can edit or you can select more with more you can speak the message uh, as in your computer's voice will try and speak it just hit on delete it'll remove your message and no harm done so don't be afraid to delete stuff uh, or edit stuff as well that's how you do that. So that's pretty much the overview. Um, as I said, focus on the index page. It'll give you an idea of what goes where. Um, and if you have any other questions, do leave them in the area below uh, here on the video and I'll have a look at them. And until next time, <laughs> look after each other and I'll see you really soon.